Hey everybody, this is TJR, and if this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. If not, welcome back. And I hope that you will take this video in the spirit of fun that it is intended in. Now, recently, I have begun dabbling with AI art, and as a result, I have started to create, or I should say, uh, generate AI art illustrations for my videos here on this channel. This began with my in-depth analysis of the Beatles' Sgt. Pepper album video. Here is an AI generated image for the song A Day in the Life by the Beatles. I had this image created to illustrate the uh, lyrics that read, I read the news today, oh boy, about a lucky man who made the grade. And though the news was rather sad, well, I just had to laugh, I saw the photograph. Now, this image was created not by typing the lyrics of the song into the text prompts for the AI, but was created by writing a description of what I wanted the image to look like. To do this, I created the following text, a realistic, hyper-detailed illustration of John Lennon during the late 1960s looking up from a newspaper giving us a grin. I also used some text prompts uh, modifiers as well. Uh, these included words like 8K resolution, concept art, detailed matte painting, dynamic lighting, volumetric lighting, and vibrant colors. I also entered in uh, what's called a negative text prompt. Uh, the prompt I used was poorly drawn hands. In case you don't understand what that is, Negative text prompts are you telling the AI what you don't want it to do. Now, with this particular attempt, I got very lucky and got something that I liked right on the first try. The thing that surprised me the most about this image was the inclusion of newspaper imagery in the background. I never asked for this in my description, and yet the AI did it. I have no idea why it did, but it worked. So after creating a number of these illustrations for my videos, I thought it would be a fun little experiment to try using lyrics from classic rock and pop songs and see how the AI interprets it. So now two things before we begin. You may notice that I said how the AI interprets it. I may be the one entering text prompts to create an illustration for one of my videos, but this does not make me an artist. I am just writing prompts, sometimes getting what I'm looking for on the first try, and sometimes needing to tweak my prompts until I get something I like and want to use. And sometimes this can take multiple attempts. But I am not the creator of this art, the AI is. I think it's important to make this distinction. I do not fool myself into believing that doing this makes me an artist. And I think we have to be very careful and always make this distinction when we talk about this topic. I also want to address the fact that there are a lot of very serious concerns regarding the use of AI art for creations. These concerns center around potential copyright infringement without compensation to artists whose styles might be used to create AI-generated art. Also, a lot of people's jobs are threatened by this, and this is a very real concern. As a musician, I do not take these concerns lightly. I did make a serious video regarding this topic roughly about nine months ago involving AI and music. I'll leave a link if you want to check that out. Uh, but this video today is not about that. This is just a fun little experiment. And I will be using lyrics from songs from The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, The Police, Jimi Hendrix, David Bowie, and more. So with that said, let me show you what was generated when I only used song lyrics as a prompt. And again, only the song lyrics. I didn't use any secondary prompts like the ones I mentioned earlier, where uh, I say things like 8K resolution, you know, the lighting, all of that. Just the song lyric only. No description of what I want to be depicted in the art. So first up is the song Heroes by David Bowie. And I used the line from the chorus, we could be heroes just for one day. I made two attempts at this. The first came off rather unintentionally funny, and the second, kind of cool, I think. 
let's show the funny one first. So this one here, <laughs> right after it was created, I just started laughing. Uh, like I said, uh, very unintentionally funny. Um, it tries to write the words to the lyrics onto it. I don't know why, but it did and just kind of butchers it. Um, the first thing I noticed were the tiny little hands that our heroes have when you look at this here. Um, it's just, I just laughed. I just thought these are, these are some of the most pathetic looking superheroes I've ever seen. I have no idea what this lettering here at the bottom of the image is though. That's, that's kind of crazy. So I gave it another attempt and got this image. Um, this one I think is kind of cool actually. You have a bunch of people, uh, in a parade, um, or at least it looks like a parade to me, marching across the street dressed as superheroes. Um, I think that if I were to try to develop this further, I'd add prompts where I had all different types of people. Um, not just what appears to be a bunch of good-looking guys, a bunch of good-looking white guys, but have people who are tall, fat, short, men, women, different ethnicities. And all of them, some of them adults, some of them kids, all of them just kind of marching, dressed as heroes, and probably with, you know, very serious looks on their faces. You know, we could be heroes just for one day. Um, but I thought overall, just for just using the lyric, I thought this one was pretty cool. Next is the song Dead Man's Party by Oingo Boingo. So first, I tried just using the um, main line of the chorus, which is, it's a dead man's party. That's all I fed into the text prompt. Uh, I made two attempts at this. Now, uh, this first one here, not bad, but nothing great in my opinion here. Uh, we've got a bunch of skeletons here uh, at a party, um, having drinks, uh, gambling. There's a pie here. It looks like a pumpkin pie at the bottom here. But yeah, not too bad, you know, uh, nothing to write home about. However, though, this next one, I do have to say, I looked at it, and then I looked at it, and then I kept on looking at it. And I just thought it was pure nightmare fuel. So I do want to give a little bit of a warning. You might find this disturbing. You might not. Uh, I didn't, but I can see where others might. So I just want to give a little bit of a warning here. But here it is. So first of all, when we look at this one, uh, just like with the one We Could Be Heroes, we have it trying to write, the AI is trying to write the actual lyric. It's a dead man's party. Uh, although in a much more stylized fashion, um, there's this central figure here that almost appears to have three legs, but not quite. Um, there's also a, an additional pant leg here in the middle too with no leg going through it. Um, he's wearing like a, what looks like a skeleton mask because I say that because you can see a human ear. Then you've got these weird, wispy, uh, bizarro arms here. Um, if you look over to what is my left, you'll see a character here in the corner that appears to be dressed in kind of a wedding gown, but with a very disfigured face. Next to that character is another one here that appears to be wearing like, like a large white apron, another disfigured face. The more I looked at this, the more I couldn't stop looking at it. All just the weird disfigured characters on the floor uh, underneath here, we've got lots of trash, bottles, various objects, um, what looks like tr either tree twigs or just, I don't know, um, just little pieces of wood shavings. I'm not sure, but just the whole thing just to me is just pure nightmare fuel. And you might say this is ugly, but I kind of am intrigued by its ugliness. I'm intrigued by just what a nightmare this looks like. Uh, so again, uh, I'll go ahead and remove this now in case you were like turning away because you didn't want to see this because it might be disturbing for you. Then I tried an attempt at taking a longer section of the lyric, the actual whole chorus. I wrote in the prompt, it's a dead man's party. Who could ask for more? Everybody come, come and leave your body at the door. I think that's how it goes. But I actually cut and paste from actual uh, lyric websites. So um, here we got two uniquely different images here. We got this first one here that almost looks like an, like a, almost like what I would say maybe might be a book illustration. Um, 
Again, we've got all these skulls. We've got some figures in the background that do not have skull faces, but most of them do. Um, we've got a weird structure here in the background. And then again, it's trying to write these lyrics. It's interesting how it tries to do that with these. When I describe a scene, I don't get this thing where we've got lettering. So that's kind of interesting. Um, but it's kind of garbled and jumbled and, again, looks like something out of a bad dream. The next one I tried, I liked a whole lot better. Um, it does have a minimal amount of words at the bottom here, but mostly this one works for me as just a piece of dark imagery um, uh, dealing with death. And I, I just found it to be really fascinating to look at this one here. Next, we have the song Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds by the Beatles. And so I tried first creating uh, the, uh, some images with just the title. And again, I said I tried to create them. I'm not creating the, the AI is. And I, I'm sorry if I use that type of language. I think it's very important to make that distinction. So um, we have two here that just use the title. And I think they're both pretty cool. So here's the first one. I really like this one. It looks really nice. Uh, it's just got a beautiful look to it. And I think it works perfectly for the title, Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds. After that, we have this image here. And this is also just a really nice uh, image. It looks kind of anime-like, not quite, but a little bit anime-like. We've got this little girl. Um, we've got diamonds uh, in the sky here. We've got a picture of the earth and we've got diamonds circling around the earth. In fact, it looks like the earth has its own diamond ring going around it. Nice little image. I, I like this. Uh, very cool looking. Next, I tried using the first line of lyric in the verse, which is picture yourself in a boat on a river with tangerine trees and marmalade skies. And this was the image I got. And I thought, you know, not too bad. I mean, nothing great, but nothing, uh, but not too bad. It kind of works. I kind of liked this enough that I decided to add some modifiers to it. I still use the lyrics as the main prompt, but I add some modifiers, and I think I got a better image. So I actually used this in my video. Next, I tried using uh, another line from the song, which is, somebody calls you, you answer quite slowly, the girl with kaleidoscope eyes. And I got this image here. And I think this is great uh, for using this lyric here. I think it's a really cool image. We go from the Beatles now to Jimi Hendrix, and I chose the song Purple Haze. And the first thing I did was I tried just using the uh, main line of lyric uh, at the opening, Purple Haze All In My Brain. That's all I did, and I got this image here. Obviously, the AI understood, okay, that's a Jimi Hendrix song, so it created a, an image of Hendrix there, or a, a reasonable facsimile, um, made his hair purple, and then had this whole little cloud going around him and uh, put some purple in his outfit. Um, not too bad, you know. Um, reminds me of a lot of those like black light posters that you saw in the 60s and 70s. After that, I took that opening line but added more to it. And I, so I wrote in the entire lyric, Purple haze all through my brain. Lately things don't seem the same. And I got this. So here we have an image of a woman. Her hair is like a purple cloud. And then there's just an indistinct purple background behind her. Her glasses show what looks like maybe a nighttime sky. I can see some trees, maybe a forest. Uh, of course, the glasses are purple. Her lips are purple. Uh, any shadowing has, the shadowing has kind of a, a purple tinge to it. And not a bad image, you know, not a bad image for that lyric, I, don't, I thought. After that, I would try um, another Jimi Hendrix song. I decided to try Little Wing. And so I took the line, Well, she's walking through the clouds with a circus mind that's running wild. And I got the following image. I rather like this image. There's just a wonderful dreamlike quality to it, a very cute, uh, delightful dreamlike quality to it. Um, she's got like kind of like a something like a cross between a balloon and a, and, uh, and a parachute here that that uh, that I guess she's uh, using. And then you've got some balloons out here as well. There's a flag here. 
Um, just, a, a, I think, a really cute childlike image. I love this one, actually, quite a bit. I tried again, but this time adding more of the lyrics. While she's walking through the clouds with a circus mind that's running wild. Butterflies and zebras and moonbeams and her fairy tales. That's all she ever thinks about, riding with the wind. I have to say, while I like this image, it, to me, didn't really convey the lyric of the song in a way that I could associate with, but I still think it's kind of a neat little image of just this, this girl here on a bike. But for a, for a first attempt with just a line of lyric, not too bad. You've got all these butterflies here. You've got the moon. You can kind of see how it kind of arrived at this. Um, not too bad, but nothing great in my opinion. From there, I moved on from Jimi Hendrix, and I tried the song You're So Vain by Carly Simon. And I just took the one line of lyric. I had a dream. There were clouds in my coffee. Clouds in my coffee. And what do you think it generated? The results were, needless to say, very predictable. We got two images. There was this one first, and then we have another one right here next. Um, both kind of the same thing. It didn't really do any real variation. And I just kind of ended with that one. Just nothing really spectacular. Kind of this is what I would expect it to do, really. After that, uh, Superfan wanted to make a suggestion. And of course, her U2 is her favorite band. So she suggested um, the song Mysterious Ways by U2. And she suggested the line, um, she moves in mysterious ways. With this one, I kind of wondered what it might do beforehand. And that's kind of the fun thing about this. You, you kind of picture in your mind what could it do, and, and then you get an image. And uh, with this one, I'd say it was kind of predictable. We have this first image here of uh, a girl uh, uh, walking down a very mysterious uh, forest road here. Um, very mysterious lighting uh, here. Um, it, it, uh, it's kind of predictable. The second attempt kind of yielded, I think, a better result here. Um, it's a little bit brighter. It still has this mysterious quality to it. I kind of like the fact that it looks like she's kind of half walking, half dancing. Um, nothing spectacular, but I think this one was definitely better. Finally, I decided, well, you did the Beatles, you know, which is one of your favorite bands of all time. You've got to do Led Zeppelin, which is another one of my favorite bands of all time. So uh, for this one, I chose, of course, their most popular song, Stairway to Heaven. Yes, I know it's an obvious choice, but how could I not try this? And so I took the first line of lyric. There's a lady who's sure all that glitters is gold, and she's buying a stairway to heaven. The first attempt here that I'm going to show you here, I have to admit, pretty unspectacular. This is what we got. Yeah, just a staircase that's gold colored or made of gold. You can see some flowers and sort of thing. It's, it's leading off somewhere, but not all that intriguing in my opinion. The second attempt, however, though, we got something that I think was pretty cool looking. Um, we have this very elegantly dressed woman in this golden dress um, with you know golden hair. Um, I'm not sure what this is here coming down off the top of the frame here that's gold. I, I'm assuming it's part of her dress, maybe. I don't know. Um, her hands look a little bit wonky, but they're kind of in the background. AI has a real hard time with hands, but it's not that glaring unless you look at it closely. But you've got this beautiful you know, uh, sky here with the clouds. You've got the stairway going off here, off into the distance. You, it looks like you've got this other gold, like metallic object halfway going through the sky. Not sure what that is. Um, there's, of course, uh, this gold uh, midsection of the staircase. There appears to be pieces of gold littered across the staircase. Um, I think overall it's pretty cool. Not too bad for just using that line of lyric. I think it's pretty, pretty awesome for that, uh, all things considered. So after using the opening line of lyrics, I thought I would use some of the closing lines from the same song. And I used the following. And as we wind on down the road, our shadows taller than our soul, there walks a lady we all know who shines white light and wants to show. That's all I used. I made two attempts. The first image here, um, nothing really spectacular. We've got an image here, a silhouette figure walking down a road, uh, 
casting a very long shadow. In fact, the shadow looks more like a robot than a person. Um, but yeah, nothing really all that spectacular. Uh, and I thought to myself, well, maybe it was just too complicated for the AI. I made another attempt here using the same prompt and I got this. And this I kind of like actually. It's just a nice uh, kind of, you know, cartoon style. I like the use of colors. Um, we have a, a, you know, a figure of a woman here, uh, her back to us. She is walking down this road. The sunlight is very golden. There's also lots of white light coming towards her as well. That's how the AI chose to interpret it this time around. And I, I kind of like this one. Of course, you know, I could keep feeding the same line of lyric and getting different results each time. At some point, I might get start seeing similar things happen and repeat themselves. But I chose to just create one image per attempt just to see how it might turn out. Um, so there you go. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and thought it was fun, fun just to tr take a look. And of course, you might try these experiments yourself using um, some of the various websites that are out there. I use Night Cafe Studio. I find it to be much more intuitive and easier to use. I tried to use Midjourney and found it to be kind of needlessly complicated. Also, Dali, I tried that and it didn't really produce what I thought were good results. I felt like I got better results with Night Cafe Studio when I started creating illustrations for the videos. And again, that was using actual real descriptive prompts versus this experiment where we're just using song lyrics. Let me know what you thought of this video. Please leave a comment. I'm curious to hear what you have to say. And let me know if you'd like to see me try another one of these. Maybe the next time uh, we'll just take suggestions from the viewers on, on what song lyrics to use. As always, if you like these videos, be sure to hit like, hit subscribe, and hit the bell notification icon so you never miss a video. A big shout out and thank you to my patron supporters. Patron supporters, you are all fierce and mighty. And patron supporters do receive exclusive weekly videos not available on this channel. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you all stay safe and healthy. Take care. Bye-bye.